What's up everyone, Mark here from Jensen USA, rider owned and operated since 1994, bringing you expert videos on advice to keep you out there, keep you pedaling and having a great time. So in this video, we decided we would break down two systems of everyday carry setups that can keep you out there riding, whether it's gravel, road, or mountain biking, and just making sure that you can tackle any kind of problem out there when you're riding. We decided to break it down into two specific categories, one being your kind of integrated system here where it's built into the bike itself that you're riding, keeps it sleek, keeps it you know flush, you're not really noticing it. And then the other setup here is more of your modular system, how to set things up where you can switch it from bike to bike, whether you're riding gravel one day, the next day you're grabbing on your mountain bike, kind of build a system that flows through all of the bikes that you have and just keeping everything set up. So let's get into it. We're gonna start with the integrated systems. All right, so for some riders, you may want your EDC setup to be integrated into your bike. You don't really want to put it on a water, ball, water bottle cage. You don't want to put it into a sleeve and slap it to your frame. Maybe you want that nice sleek look on your bike so that your bike looks exactly how it was supposed to be without even noticing there's tools in there. So let's start with right here on the Wolf Kit, our Wolf Tooth Bar Kit 1. Now this setup is really neat because it can go both on your mountain bike, your gravel, um, it can go in drop bars, flat bars, whatever, and it kind of sits in the bar ends. With this setup, you're gonna get everything from, you know, your chain tools to having plug systems in case that, you know, uh, sealant isn't working properly. And it's really sleek. It sits right into those bar ends. You won't notice it's there and it's easy to access with a little bit of extra storage system as well. So this is a really sleek setup. If you're looking, you know, maybe you're riding gravel or mountain or road, this kind of fits in all of that system. Really integrated, you don't really notice it's there. It almost just looks like a nice, you know, aluminum anodized type of bar in there. So pretty slick system there. Next up here on integrated systems, which is a really popular one here with Jensen USA, and that's the One Up EDC kit. Now this has multiple uses, which is really cool here. Um, the one way you can do it like, you know, Preston here does on his bike, which is really sleek, is you can actually sit it into your top cap. And what you do is you use this uh, tap system right here. I don't know why I yelled that so loud, it kind of just came out. But you use a tap system here, you go right into your steerer, and then you use like this top cap system. What this basically does, it sits right up into your top cap and you don't even notice it's there. So it's sitting in there, it's sleek, you don't notice it from the side, even top down, it kind of just looks like it's a part of your headset and everything. So it looks really, really good. Now with these integrated systems, the benefit here is it keeps everything all in one. It's not, you know, all over the place. It's not something you're gonna drop out or you lose out on the trail, like maybe something that you put in a water bottle cage or something like that. Um, so it's kind of all in one, but with those come with a little bit heftier of a price tag. It's kind of everything that's already there. You don't get to kind of pick and choose. So that's why we decided another really important aspect of EDC is getting into the modular systems, which we'll get into right now. And we'll start again with this uh, one up EDC because it has a way to become a part of a modular system if you don't want to integrate it into your bike. All right, so moving into modular systems, this is more so the case that a lot of riders are using um, just because it's easy to kind of design your own, right? You can kind of pick and choose what parts you want to throw together um, that really suits and fits your bike and your riding style. So starting back into that one up EDC kit we got right here, if you don't want to integrate this up into your stem and into your headset, uh, your steerer tube, uh, what you can do is you can get like one of these, like this is the 100cc uh, EDC pump here from one up, really sleek, it's really light pretty nice um, but what's awesome here is if you can pop this bottom cap here and that tool setup will sit right there in the bottom now how this attaches to the bike here is it comes with this little adapter setup you'll throw this right underneath the water bottle cage um, and hook it right on there this kind of plugs in it's pretty solid it's even got an extra little you know, rubber strap here to hold it all together. Um, and you can build that. And maybe the 100 cc is just too big. You're like, I don't want to have that big of a pump. The cool thing is, is they also make a 70 cc pump here. The thing is though, is you'll have to take off 
this little extra compartment on there. And it's, again, kind of modular that system to build it all together, but it still sits on that water bottle cage. It's sleek, um, but fair warning, when you're dealing with these modular setups here on your bike, they're not integrated in the sense that they're gonna bounce around. They, you may be riding gnarly enough that you may lose one on the trail. So just be aware of that when you're building these setups that they're gonna be moving around. Make sure to check them when you're out there riding if you're getting through some you know, gnarly rock stuff or whatever, and just make sure you still got it throughout the whole ride because it would suck to get so far down the trail, realize you lost the stuff way down and have to go back and find it, or you know something break and realize you just lost it down the other side of the trail. So just keep that in mind when you're building something like any of these modular systems. Maybe the one-up system isn't for you. You're like, I want some CO2 setup. Um, a great setup we got here is this muck off CO2 inflator. I love this setup. It's, you know, it works really well. It's dependable. They make both a mountain bike setup like I'm holding here, but they also make a road setup, right? If that's more of your style of riding. So you can kind of pick and choose and set that up. And you're like, okay, well, where do I put that? Two cool options we got here is we have this design setup right here. Now with this one right here, it's just riding your water bottle cage. If you're running like a two cage setup on a gravel bike or a road bike, maybe you're not going to hydrate very much. You can throw this into one cage or maybe on a mountain bike, you're wearing a hip back with a bladder or a backpack with a bladder. You can take up that water bottle space and kind of load this how you see fit. Same with this Dekine bag right here. You can kind of load stuff in here and strap it onto your bike. But again, with these modular systems, they're not integrated. So they're going to have some free movement as you're out there riding. So keep that in mind. Also for that EDC setup, you wanna keep those tires inflated, you wanna keep things going. You also wanna be able to work on that bike in case something goes wrong. So two of our top choices here at Jensen is first off our foundation multi-tool here. This comes at a really great affordable cost here and it has basically everything you need. It's super smooth. When it comes to pulling things out, you're not sitting there breaking your fingernails when you're out there on the trail, trying to get that one type of tool off your multi-tool out of the way so you can get it to work. It flows smoothly. It's got everything compacted. It'll sit both in the design bottle holder or in the Dekine bag. The other one here is the Crane Brothers M17. I like this. It's really lightweight. You're getting a lot of different tools here. You're getting your chain brakes and everything else all set up here in your EDC. So importantly here with your EDC setup is making sure that you're prepared to tackle everything out there on the trail. Along with all this airflow stuff, you know, I almost missed it here is like the dart is here, right? So you wanna be able to plug those kits. You're not always gonna get those sealant ready type of holes where the sealant can do its job and you can keep pedaling. Sometimes you're hitting something gnarly enough that you really need to plug that kit. So we recommend this stands dart set up here with a little bit of extra bacon and everything else to kind of get in there, patch those holes and keep yourself out there pedaling. Now we've done a lot of stuff here with you know upgrading bikes recently, so make sure to check out one of our other videos on whether it's upgrading your dirt jumper or even getting into how to set up per perfectly on your bike. Importantly is that we wanna keep you out there pedaling. So just make sure that you build a setup that is aimed at you getting out there, riding your bike, having a great time, and just living life to the fullest. So check out one of the videos. We, we drop these videos very regularly and just make it easier for you to get out there, have a great time, and what we all love doing, riding bikes.